So how's it going everyone and welcome to another video. Today the video is surrounding the Chinese Super League and whether it could be introduced into FIFA 17. I, like many people, would love to see the Chinese Super League involved in the new FIFA as a lot of big players have gone over and there's a lot of decent sized clubs over there with nice stadiums so it'd be good to see it in the FIFA Ultimate Team at some point. But today we're just going to have a look at some of the bigger named players in the Chinese Super League and some that we could possibly see in the upcoming FIFA game. To start off with we have former Atletico Madrid and Porto player Jackson Martinez who now currently plays for Gangzhou Evergrande. It would be a pretty good card to be reintroduced into FIFA as he did have a card this year in FIFA 16 and also had a Porto team of the season in FIFA 15. Coming up next we have a player who left PSG for the Chinese Super League and that is Ezequiel Lovetsy. Believe what you will, but according to some reports, Lovetsy is now the highest paid player in the world. I'm not sure how much I read into that, but that's coming from various sources, so there possibly could be something in it. But Lovetsy's card would look a lot similar to his card this year. Obviously, as he gets older, his stats are going to decrease, but it'd be a good option in the Chinese Super League if it was to be introduced into Ultimate Team. Next is the former Chelsea fans favourite and Brazilian midfielder Ramirez. Has always had a very good ultimate team card Ramirez and if it, he was on the game next year it would be no different. He now plays for Jiangsu Suning in the Chinese Super League after leaving Chelsea in January 2016 for around £25 million. Someone who I didn't realise had joined the Chinese Super League was sporting Lisbon striker Freddy Montero. He also used to play for Seattle Sounders in the MLS, but he now plays for Tianjin Teda in the Chinese Super League, and his card would be mainly just a bog standard striking card with his stats being similar to what they are on his sporting card in FIFA 16. Next we have someone who's always a big favourite with FIFA users, and that is Freddy Guarin. Always renowned for having such a well-rounded card, the Colombian midfielder left Inter Milan to join Shanghai Shenhua in the Super League and he would look good in a Super League midfield with Ramirez and another player who's coming up next. And that player is Alex Sierra, who left Shakhtar Donetsk in January 2016 to join Jiangsu Suning, the same club as Ramirez. Towards the end of his Shakhtar career, Teixeira was operating as a striker and for almost half the season averaged over a goal a game ratio. Was linked with big clubs like Chelsea and Liverpool, but chose to make the move to the Chinese Super League with Jiangsu. Whether that be for money or the fact he thought the league was growing, or I'll let you make your own mind up about that one. And finally, we have another player who I didn't realise had gone to the Chinese Super League, and it is Burak Yilmaz from Galatasaray, who now plays for Beijing Guan. The Turkish striker has had some very good Ultimate Team cards over the years and I could imagine his FIFA 17 card would be a lot similar to his current card in FIFA 16 at Galatasaray. So this has been a brief overview of some of the cards that could be introduced into FIFA 17 should EA go to try and get the rights of the Chinese Super League, which I, like most people, am fully expecting them to do so with the league, picking up in standing all the time. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll be back with another one very soon.